In the past two years, we've ended up in areas where there was a significant amount of forest fire smoke for extended periods of time. And that became really unpleasant in the van. It's a pretty small space in here and we just couldn't get away from it. So we ended up buying this vehicle USB air purifier to see if it would help and it's actually pretty nice to have in here. We use this when we're driving and when we're hanging out in the back. And what we do is we'll close all the windows and let this purify the air. And we just let it run pretty much 24 seven when it's smoky outside. This one is by Auto Trends, and it was really important for us to find a small one like this that was USB powered so we can plug it into our 12 volt of the car or the solar power generator. And it takes a lot less power. And if you open it up here, you can see that there's a HEPA filter that you can change when it gets dirty. There's actually an indicator that tells you when to change it. This is not something that we use all the time, but it's nice to have. And it's also great just for managing dust in the van. You might not be able to find this exact one, but if you look for a vehicle USB air purifier, you might be able to find something kind of similar. This is our clothing bins. I have an entire bin here. Ian and I each have one big bin that fit under our bed. We got all our bins at Walmart and the best part about doing that was being able to go in, buy a few different sizes, put them in the van, see what works, and then returning them. So I highly suggest buying your bins in person and not online. As you can see, a bunch of my clothes fit in here. I have, you know, clothes kind of in every nook and cranny in the van. If you're a girl, you totally get me. Ian only gets one bin though. That was the rule. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. For this, we mounted a thermometer and hygrometer above the door, and we usually keep an eye on it throughout the day. And it's especially nice when we're entering the colder, wetter seasons where it's humid for long periods of time, so we can keep an eye on the moisture levels in the van. These are usually pretty inexpensive, and you can find these at most hardware stores. Stores, uh, a solar panel, and uh, inside are, does this, power, this got uh, juice in it? Where is the... This is an older one. Where is the button on this one? There, it came on. Well, you can't really see because it's light, but uh, this, and this will run it most of the night, won't it? You, this, you put this out in the, during the day, it'll probably run most of the night. And it's, Lucy lights are really good. There's a ton of USB fans on the market, but this one is the most powerful one that we found. And for us, it was really important for it to be USB powered because we can plug it directly into the 12 volt socket of our solar power generator and we don't have to have our inverter on, so it takes a lot less power. It's also nice that this one has four different speeds, and it also has a timer, so you can set it for one hour, two hours, four hours, or eight hours, and it'll stop after that. We've actually tried a couple other USB fans before this one, and we just found that they didn't really push very much air compared to this one. This one's made by Opolar, and it's a multi-setting desk fan. My only complaint is that the cable that comes with it is actually pretty short, so you're limited as to where you can put it. 